Here's a look at this morning's top stories. Six people are wounded this morning after a shooting at a FedEx facility in Kennesaw, Georgia. The gunman, according to police, was found dead on the FedEx grounds. Some of the wounded are currently undergoing surgery. One person reportedly in critical condition. Police say they got the first calls at about 6 o'clock this morning. One of two Bakersfield men accused of shining a laser at a sheriff's helicopter heads to court today for sentencing. Earlier this month, Patrick Flores pled guilty to possessing a stolen vehicle in exchange for all other charges being dropped. His home on 4th Street was raided by the FBI, BPD, and sheriff deputies in March. They weren't able to find that laser pointer, but they did find a stolen motorcycle, false license plate tags, and drugs. And for the 24th year in a row, Caltrans employees will lay down traffic cones today, symbolizing a worker killed while improving our roads. With a handful of construction projects going on in Kern County right now, CHP and Caltrans says this morning's ceremony is simply a somber reminder to stay alert behind the wheel. That's right, we have so many of those workers out on the road. As we talk about that high pressure that is in place, it's pushing everything up and out of the way. And that brings us our heat wave. Sunny skies over Bakersfield, perfectly clear. 55 degrees as the sun is popping up over the hills. And as we talk about your day plan, we get to 86 by 4 p.m. That is up 10 degrees from yesterday. Up in Lake Isabella, you're also jumping up. You have 81 by 4 p.m. for your high today, with a little bit of a breeze. Up in Tatchby, gusting to about 25 miles an hour, you get to a high of 72 today at 4 p.m.